Fayetteville, Arkansas. Located in the Middle South of the United States in the northwest corner of the natural state of Arkansas. Fayetteville's early inhabitants included both the Osage and Cherokee Native Americans who enjoyed the area for its rich hunting and fishing. Not a bad place to call home. In fact, recently U.S. News ranked Fayetteville as the 10th best place to live in the United States. Fayetteville is the second largest city in the state of Arkansas with a population just shy of 100,000 people. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we learn about everything there is to know in and around Bentonville, Arkansas. Of course, today you're going to have a comprehensive tour of what life is like in and around Fayetteville. We're going to talk about schools, the university, we're going to talk about things to do, housing, and of course, maybe some of Fayetteville's notable people. But before we dig in, let's rewind 195 years and have a little history lesson. We are standing on the border of one of Arkansas's most notable land deals. President Andrew Jackson patented 160 acres to create the official settlement of Fayetteville, Arkansas. The borders, as you're seeing here on the map, are Gregg Avenue on the west, Dixon on the north, College Avenue on the east, and namely South Street on the south. Save for the square, Everything was auctioned off to raise funds to build the original courthouse. And it's not the one that's right behind me. The original courthouse was very crude. It was 20 by 20 and had wood floors. Soon after the original courthouse was built, retail stores, general stores, even grocery stores popped up, setting the commerce in the area in overdrive before overdrive was a thing. It wasn't but 70 years later until the courthouse you see was built to serve Washington County. Even now, this building has been replaced. Still, this one is a mainstay in Fayetteville skyline and it's used to keep county records and was placed on the National Register of Historical Places in 1972. Did you know that before Arkansas gained its statehood in 1836, Fayetteville used to be called Washington and Washington County used to be called Lovely County. And although it is a lovely county and only called Lovely County for one year, it's now called Washington County. It was here in 1828 at the base of Mount Sequoia where pioneers and earlier settlers found a bubbling brook, stream if you will, and started settling in Fayetteville. <laughs> okay, have you had enough of a history lesson? Well, we should probably still talk about schools. Fayetteville Public Schools and the University of Arkansas, which we'll talk about here soon, were both established in 1871, with Fayetteville Schools being the first school district in the state of Arkansas. Fayetteville has eight elementary schools, one combined middle and elementary, two middle schools, two junior highs, and one high school. Other notable schools in Fayetteville are Fayetteville Christian, the new school, and highly rated charter school, Haas Hall Academy. Of course, once you're finished with your K through 12 education, you could literally walk across Stadium Drive right here in front of me and become an Arkansas Razorback. So on one side of the street, you're a Bulldog. On the other side of the street, you're a Razorback. I'm sure there's some sort of application process in there. Let's talk about the University of Arkansas. The University of Arkansas offers more than 200 degree programs, 70 bachelor programs, and dozens of master and doctoral programs as well. Are you a sports fan? The Razorbacks belong to the SEC or Southeastern Conference. If you're in Fayetteville for a sporting event, namely a home football game, it's exactly what you would expect in a college town with tailgating, everyone wearing their fan gear, and of course, you will hear people calling those hogs. No, I will not call the hogs. Here's a clip for you to enjoy. Some of the university's notable alumni include Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys, five-time Olympic medal winner Veronica Campbell-Brown, Jimmy Johnson, Ife Jones, Savvy Shields, Pat Summerall, and even though he didn't finish his degree, even pro golfer John Daly attended the University of Arkansas on a golf scholarship. Fayetteville is known for its hilly topography and has been said to have been founded on the seven hills around the area, much like Rome, Italy but no one seems to know which seven of the 36 that surround Fayetteville that has been founded on. The hills surrounding Fayetteville, of course, have given all this natural beauty to the 47 parks and 16 nature areas. We're here at Kessler Mountain Regional Park, the largest of the 47 parks. As you can see, Kessler Mountain Regional Park is home to baseball fields, soccer fields, 400 acre nature preserve, 
And of course, my favorite features is the mountain biking trails. Shout out to my daughter who loves coming to Kessler Mountain with her track club to train on the hills. Other mountain biking trails in the area include, but not limited to, Lake Fayetteville trails, Centennial Park where the 2022 Cyclocross World Championships were held, and of course, here at Kessler is the end of the Razorback Greenway, stretching from here at Mount Kessler all the way through Northwest Arkansas up to North Bentonville and Bella Vista. Here's a notable fact for you. Bentonville, Benton, Benton, Benton. Hey, sorry about that. It's not Bentonville, it's Fayetteville. Bill has over 50 local businesses that have been labeled as bicycle friendly by the League of American Bicyclists, making Fayetteville the city that has the third most in the entire nation. For my friends considering Bentonville, you should know that Fayetteville was named Arkansas's first gold level bicycle friendly community. Even though mountain biking and of course the various trail systems in Northwest Arkansas are some of my absolute favorite features, my next and most favorite topic to talk about is real estate. Much like any neighborhood in Northwest Arkansas, here in Fayetteville is no different. There's housing here ranging anywhere from apartments, condos, townhomes, duplexes, single family homes, smaller single family homes, and of course, sprawling estates. I'm here in Candlewood subdivision to tell you a little bit more about property taxes. Many of my clients moving here from other parts of the country, they're concerned and curious about property tax. On average, Washington County collects 0.59% of a property's assessed fair market value. Reappraisal happens about every three to five years. So depending on a few factors, you may be able to receive a $375 tax credit on a primary residence, and for qualified homeowners, you may be able to freeze your taxable value. For a real world example, I took one of the homes here in Candlewood. Uh, it's a four bed, three bath home with around 4,000 square feet on an acre in beautiful Candlewood subdivision. Their 2022 taxes were just shy of $6,500. With the area becoming increasingly popular, a reassessment or reappraisal is certainly on the horizon, and I would believe these numbers will definitely increase. By how much, I have no idea, my friends, but I do know that there are people around the country that move here and they tell me, Anthony, we're paying more than $6,500 a month in property taxes, let alone in a year. Now that we're back on the square, let's go away from the tax conversation, talk about a few more things to enjoy. Food, fun, and farmer's markets. Fayetteville offers all sorts of different kinds of food to tempt your palate from Italian steakhouses to farm to table type restaurants. If pubs and bars are your thing, be sure to come down here on Dixon Street and check out all the establishments here. Don't be surprised if you come down here during school, University of Arkansas is right up the street, and of course, it's going to be packed. One of my family's favorite places is Hammond Tree's Gourmet Grilled Cheese. They have over 19 different types of cheeses and of course, locally sourced salads, your crew can certainly find something to munch on here at Hammond Trees. Or if you're in the mood for a burger like we are, gonna take a little bit of break from filming, head on down to Hugo's, just north of the Fayetteville Square, located in a basement for a phenomenal hamburger. The square here in Fayetteville is the location of many events and activities, namely the Fayetteville Farmer's Market, which recently celebrated its 50th anniversary this year, beginning in 1973. It's open Saturdays from seven to two and Tuesdays from seven to one. All producers grow and make their products within around 60 miles of the area. With their online store, the market is open and taking orders year round. Christmas time is magical at the square, drawing around 200,000 local and international visitors. Lights of the Ozarks is a must do that time of year. Of course, there are holiday treats to enjoy, pony rides and music filling the air. Let's not forget other activities like the square to square bike ride, starting here at the square in Fayetteville and going all the way up to the Bentonville Square, mostly on the Razorback Greenway. For more fun in Fayetteville, be sure to have Walton Art Center on your list. See orchestras, symphonies, comedy shows. In fact, a few years ago, my family and I were able to see Phenom Group Blue Man Group here at the Walton Art Center, which is just around the corner from Theater Square where they have over 350 plays and performances a year. Another great outdoor activity to do here in Fayetteville is to golf. Arkansas has the Arkansas Golf Trail and there are a couple of courses here in Fayetteville that are on that list. One of them is Stonebridge Meadows. Some of the other golf courses that are around the area that you might find of interest are Fayetteville Country Club and Blessing Golf Club. Of course, 
Other areas of interest might be Beaver Lake that has its various activities and water sports. A bit further out, you might want to visit my friends at the Buffalo Outdoor Center in Ponca to camp, zip line, downhill mountain bike, and when in season, float the Buffalo National River. If you're willing to travel just under two hours, Branson, Missouri is just shy of two hours away to enjoy even more shows, shops, dining, and of course, Silver Dollar City Amusement Park. If that still isn't enough to do for you, head up the road into Springdale and catch a foul ball from the Arkansas Naturals, or head up into Rogers and catch a concert at the Arkansas Music Pavilion, locally known as The Amp. You might hear mainline musicians like Matchbox 20, Willie Nelson, Luke Bryant, Leonard Skinner, ZZ Top, even Foreigner, the British American rock band, are on this summer's hit list. Speaking of Foreigner, it may feel like the first time. In fact, it may feel like the very first time that you're seeing my YouTube channel. If you would, like and subscribe to the channel so that you're not cold as ice and you're aware of all videos that I put out for you. Are you considering coming to the area to check it out? You're not going to want to fly in here to Drake Field, formerly known as Fayetteville Municipal. You're going to want to head up the street and book a flight to XNA. XNA, or Northwest Arkansas National Airport, is located further up the street, as mentioned, near Bentonville. That's going to be the closest national and more traveled airport with more commercial airlines to use. That's all the time we have for today. Now you know a little bit more about what life is like in around Bentonville. Keep Fayetteville funky, and as always, thanks again for watching. Well, I'm hot-blooded, subscribe and see. I've been waiting for a subscriber like you to come into my life. I want to know what love is. Yeah. Y yes, sweetheart. Would you get a rest already? Subscribe to the channel. Seriously, go sell some houses or something. Yes, sweetheart. YouTube hero.